it seems quite a crime against nature to start talking and spoil this moment. But with that said, I can't get on with the review tutorial on how to's on the Kingjoy K2008 with a QB30 head. So let's just tilt over to our demo table, which is right here, and talk through some of the features close up and what we've done in my ownership of this product in the last nine days. So first thing you're going to see on here is we have a strap and some uh, carry handles at the side here. One thing to make sure we don't um, get confused with the product, my customization, is that these little elastic things here are something that I have added and we can have those from um, some decathlon, I can't see it too well, um, camping elastic pole or pole elastic and all I've done is cut that of course and then burnt the edges and I've done that on quite a lot of the parts, certainly at the end and the zips to grab them. I believe to use this whole product pretty much with my eyes closed, very much on feel and touch. So to get started, um, the other thing which you should know straight away is I've got a 30 centimeter ruler. This is about 49 centimeters length. It's really small and it's really packed in. As I say, I've had it for nine days. What we get inside is this. And what I'm gonna do is unpack it literally so we can see what is going on. I'm just gonna put it down and then go into the zip pocket. So I'll show you, if you've never seen one of these before, I'll show you what that is in a moment. And then a couple of things outside. There is nothing else in here apart from that, so little silica gel. This is padded and it is very comfortable when it's already over your shoulder. So, getting down to this, what have we got? Uh, let's just reposition and make this there. And we've got, I'm really taking my time here because um, this is something I put a, a lot of thought in of making uh, a decision to go from the two or three tripods that I already own up to this one because as you can appreciate, I'm just showing you back out again. I'm in nature at the moment, I'm out on location so this is pretty much where I spend my time hence all the photographs of trees and things like that. So speaks for itself, that is an Allen key which actually slots into this clamp or this clip. I don't use it because when I'm packing it, um, it's easier to pack flat than it is to um, pack uh, at an edge like that to take up more room in the bag. This is a uh, the ball head, just hold it there for a second and you get a manual which goes on in depth in English and other languages and this one is the K-series tripod which we'll have a look at uh, in depth. Put those two at the side, covered that one. This one here is a head for the monopod, which uh, this plastic thing, by the way, is something that um, does not come with the item. This is something I've had from a different monopod, but it nicely fits over the top. In actual fact, um, I probably won't use it like that, but should I do, uh, it will rubberize the, the thread at the top. This is a lovely uh, Alpenstock um, cover in other words, a walking stick cover with a little compass on the top here, and I will demonstrate exactly how that works in one second. So let's just pull these things down and look at the tripod itself. I'm just going to pause just for one second. Yeah, aeroplane overhead, leaves rustling, hardly any wind. This is a bridle way, so I would expect um, maybe a horse to come along soon. So let's just go. Right, so what we found here is that these of course raise and lower to make the tripod and I'll do a demonstration in uh, a back away um, wider scene in a couple of moments if you keep watching. Now that at the moment is r really looser, shall we say, than when it was um, out of the box. That was really stiff and you need like to be a you know, a bodybuilder to move it, or to know exactly what you're doing, um, meaning it's strong. I've loosened them off just ever so slightly. Now, 
to get this pole out, and this is the thing of when you have something for, for nine days, you figure out how to use it. The first thing, and be careful with this, is that you just take a little pull, and I'll bring this up so you can see exactly that we've got a pretty sharp spike there, should it be needed. Be careful with that, because if you start unspiking it in, should we say, public locations, you're probably going to get in a bit of trouble. With that said, in the right situations, that is a wonderful addition. All three legs have um, a spike. This is what I do to extend the whole thing out. Grab once, hold, rotate towards you. Now all three are easily pulled out. Then I can go one, two, three, and so on. To get them back in again, what I do is I push straight in from loose, grab all three together, go away from you, they are all locked. It takes nine days of, of looking at it to think, well, hold on a second, I've, you know, this is lovely rubber. To undo this and squeeze it, once, twice, three takes time. One, open, one, close, is brilliant. Okay, so let's just uh, open it up. You can probably hear the clicking here, and I'll just put it back down like that. So all I've done now is we've got a long item there. You'll notice also that, let's be fair about it and turn it round the other way, and that is that when we have got uh, the King Joy 2008 logo, you'll notice there is some extra tape over there. I've added that, and this again is Decathlon Artengo Tennis Racket Tape, which just goes around the handle. Um, that is in the winter time, it's not winter yet, but if I put my hand on here, it's aluminium and it is cold temperature. If you've got gloves on, so what? I like it because I can grab hold of that one. The other three have the King Joy logo and they are rubberized. Okay, so then what we've got, if I turn this, I'm just gonna I'll tell you what, for a time being, I'm going to undo the monopod level just Put it to one side at the moment and the reason is is because you've got this clip here which you've got three positions which I'll demonstrate in the the next demo the wide demo but what it allows me to do is oh goodness me let me just uh, undo this because I'll show you so if I press and hold down then take it back out what it does allow is a really good close-up here of this area here, which you pull this down and you can hang your bag on for extra weight. Twist away from you, push, then what we can do is take this out, should we need it, to reposition the central column to hang down to get very, very close to the ground. And what you've got here is um, a few other components where you can see, quite honestly, the way it is made. Um, and then you've got a in here. Going back out again, what we can do, as I just demonstrated, is turn this out and then we can put this back in again, upside down. I'll demonstrate that on the wide demo in a second. Rotate, slots back in, put this one back in haven't mentioned, of course, where this tripod came from, and that is cameraking.co.uk. There will be a link in the description. So then what we've got at the top here is a King Joy QB20 head. Now, if I bring that up, you'll see that there is one position. Let me just uh, tap there. There is one position which unlocks, and then there's a really big black ball head. Now, when we use that, and I'll just, just bring this round so you can see here, I'm trying to do this in one take, quite honestly, I think we're doing okay, is we've got a spirit level in the top, and then a little clip here, which I bring this up, and that is out at the moment, which allows me to click and take this shoe off. This is the plate that uh, you can see, that's a yellow, um, something I need there just to say this is from the King Joy uh, thing, because I've got two of these. Um, and you can see there's a forward slant there to say arrow forward for lens. So what you do, you get your DSLR or clamp or whatever you're going to do with mobiles or a binocular clamp and then screw it in when the camera is on the top here. For those people who have not seen one before, you say lens is forward 
and then you literally snap it together and push away. When you push away under the bottom here and take that little uh, brass coloured clip down, should you accidentally touch that, it's locked in, you cannot get the, the clamp back out again. And then what you do have with this head, and, and these are really, really nice heads. I think you can buy the QB20 um, separately very much. And then if you needed to, let's just lock this up, make sure we're still in focus and undo it. And what you'll find there is it will come off. Put that to one side. Again, should you um, have a need for the smaller diameter thread, then what you can do, let me just click again. Yeah, that's in focus, is undo it. And then what you'll find, this is really well made, you undo it and you've got a little uh, clip in here, just put it on the back of my hand so you can see it, with a smaller um, camera thread there. And then you can place that back in again. Oop. Let me show you when it comes out, like that look. And then that pops itself in and then you have got the smaller Keep going, keep going. We've got all the time in the world. There we go. And you've got that one there like that. Now, if I try to put this back on again, you can see that the QB head has the bigger one and it won't fit. So let's just uh, turn that round and put it in. I think we're nearly done on this, this portion. I want to be thorough with this because uh, the, the tips really are how you use tripod to be extremely stable. Take a weight compose yourself and then give yourself extra time to really think about the photograph you're about to take because quite honestly tripods cameras are nothing but tools of course to get us to the level that we need to be to take a scene and press that shutter so coming back and this is the brilliant thing when you're wandering and wandering I'm just going to put the whole tripod to one side for a second and focus on this lovely little mechanism which is the monopod or the alpenstock walking stick. So what we've got here is, as I've just demonstrated, you can pull all of these out and make it very high. I think it comes up to about one and a half meters, something like that. Click it in, done. Now on the top here, I'm just going to make sure we're in focus for that. This doesn't do anything in that apart from it's a rubber grip. Then what we can do is we can add in just going to make sure we're focused again. Yes, we are. You can see that that plate goes on the top. Let's do that in. It is. Undo. And then we can uh, put the QB head or any other tripod head on the top like that. That is not all. because I'm just going to put this on here because it's small. Oh, little buzzing bee just went past my ear there. Then you can come along and you can say, OK... I've got the tripod in the carry bag, I've got my cameras and I'm walking nicely in the country, something like this. I know I keep doing this, but I think it's really important to show that we're actually down at a level look where this, this is where we are. And this is a um, slight sidestep to this video, a pause if you like, to say this is a bridleway, it is a public footpath and quite honestly it is absolutely beautiful. Look, and then you go round to this area here and the path carries on. I've taken lots of photographs about it, but the thing is I rush it. And if I use a monopod, I'm swaying around and I'm walking, which is lovely, but quite, oh, excuse me, quite honestly, having the facility of this new tripod really, really helps me. So I want to be, as a teacher, extremely thorough. And when I come down to be thorough, I get good photographs. I can usually make videos to help other people. Then we've got, um, going back to the topic, which is this end, I can hold it like this and I can use this as either a monopod or the walking stick. And the other thing which I will say about it as a final part with this item, I go along in the countryside quite a lot. I cross pathways, I cross fields, all in public areas. Occasionally, not only do we go up and down ditches where we need something solid to hold on to, but also uh, maybe a bit of protection maybe from other animals. It hasn't happened to me, but should it happen to me, then um, I've got just something there as a stick to say, you know, quite honestly, um, I feel a tiny bit more safe. Bear with me one second. Lovely, like being in an outdoor classroom. This is my other walking stick, where you can see it's a classic walking pole, 
uh, like this and it's a very very old thing silver thing and it's I can't get this bottom piece in because it's bent you can see the style and the diameter in the sizing I think quite honestly is there anything else to say on this portion of the video apart from to, to let's put the thing together let's go onto some wide shots and show you all the positions Listen to those leaves. I could be here for hours and not see another human being. This is incredible. I'm going to show you this, but I, you know, look at this. This is beautiful. Look. I'm at a level where I don't even want to do the next bit of the video because I just want to sit here and watch the leaves. Crazy, isn't it? Okay, let's... Oh, look at this, I love it. There's nothing that gets you organised in your mind so much as fresh air, and especially trees.